For the first time since Covid hit in 2020, this year's words of the year aren't about the pandemic. Instead, they are concerned with a different kind of rapidly spreading phenomenon. Artificial intelligence. In this article, we'll go through five major English language dictionaries' choices for word of the year, explaining what the words mean, and most importantly, how to pronounce them. At number five, Merriam-Webster, the most popular American English dictionary, went with authentic as its word of the year. It saw a big increase in searches for this word in 2023. Although it isn't a new word, it has adopted a new significance since the mainstream arrivals of social media and artificial intelligence. Both have left many wondering what exactly is authentic. The Pope running away from police probably isn't authentic, but neither is a staged TikTok comedy scene or an influencer who is trying to look natural whilst explaining the advantages of a fake tan. The word actually sounds slightly different in American English, starting on a schwa, authentic, whereas in British it's with or, authentic, though which pronunciation is the authentic one remains to be seen. Collins Dictionary's word of the year is actually an abbreviation of two words, artificial intelligence. According to Collins, it means the modeling of human mental functions by computer programs. To some, AI signifies the potential freedom of humanity from the constraints of work, poor health, inequality and ecological disaster, freeing up our time to put our feet up and let the robots do the work. Others imagine it will bring an abrupt end to civilization by deciding to wipe humans out completely. So, there's quite a range of opinions out there. What is unquestionable is that we are now in a new and very rapidly changing world defined by these two letters. In abbreviated form, its pronunciation is two diphthongs, A and I. On its own, the stress is on I, AI. But if any content word appears after it, the stress shifts to that. So, AI robot, for example. You can also hard attack both syllables, giving AI. But whatever you do, don't try and hard attack an AI robot. Destroy all humans. Cambridge's word of the year is a very old word indeed, dating back to the 17th century and having its root in the Latin word hallucinatus. Previously associated with the mind-altered states caused by certain recreational drugs or mental conditions, hallucinate has taken on a new meaning recently. It's when an artificial intelligence bot misunderstands its prompt and comes up with a ridiculous or wrong solution. Common examples currently include chatbots inventing events or qualifications and image generators producing bizarre images. Hands seem to be a particular problem. In keeping with its meaning, the pronunciation of hallucinate can change quite a lot. It's a word that starts on a glottal fricative and ends on an alveolar t in standard English, but in regional accents it could easily begin and end on glottal stops. Hallucinate. The first thing to note about number two in this list is that down under, in Australia, they love an abbreviation. Arvo is afternoon, UE is U-turn, and Barbie isn't just a doll, it's also a barbecue. A Barbie Barbie would be an interesting event indeed down under. So when the world experiences a cost of living crisis, which sounds a bit bleak and a bit long, what are the Aussies going to do? That's right. Cozy Lives is Australian Dictionary Macquarie's Word of the Year. Although the spelling mixes S and Z, the pronunciation is two voiced Z sounds. Cozy Lives. Oxford's Word of the Year, and our pick of the bunch, is Riz. It appears to have started with online video streamer Kai Sanat using it occasionally in his feeds, and slowly then very quickly, it spread through social media. Essentially, it's a young person's way of saying charisma. So you have riz in the same way you'd have charisma, but it's more flexible than the older word. You can riz someone up, for example, which means that you can use your riz to attract them. This kind of willful attempt to attract people is in direct opposition to Oxford's 2022 word of the year, goblin mode, referring to a post-pandemic apathy. And it's noteworthy 
that having Riz is a very human thing. Artificial intelligence, for all its mind-boggling potential, will likely struggle for a long time to have any Riz at all. Although it's short, for second language speakers it's not the easiest word to pronounce. Starting with a smooth alveolar r, it moves to a near-close, near-front i, and ends on a voiced z. The combination is unusual in many languages, so let's give it a go. Riz. My riz actually probably needs a bit of work, and I'm not just talking about the pronunciation. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions for the word of the year, please put them in the comments. See you next time.